tag team match, not a four corners match. And this match was constructed by the championship committee to make all things fair because Daphne and Lady Death are a team. They can't fight each other, but anything can happen in this great, great sport of ours. Oh my goodness, grinding the skull. Daphne trying to do everything she can to win this match. Even if she has to be off her feet, she will win the match at any cost. That's the Nebraska sliced bread. Homemade, nice, hot bread, fresh from the oven. Number two. Alaska, Nebraska is red hot. Look at her spirit meter. It's flashing red. She has to calm down eventually. That spirit meter will die down. But at this point now, she has full of momentum. Oh, wait a minute. That Yakuza kick stops everything. Oh, and uh, sources, ladies and gentlemen, have stated Pantalix does earn the right to have a shot the world heavyweight championship, but that will not be for a very for a uh, for a while. I don't want to say a very long time, but for a while, he did win three matches. Pantalix defeated El Guapo within the three within those uh, segments. And not only that, ladies and gentlemen, we've just got word just now that Pantalex has called out his fellow tag team partner, McDoom, to, the, to, to, to challenge El Guapo to a drink and rules match for Beach Blast. So then again, the drink and rules match is gonna happen. This One. just in McDoom, El Guapo, Two. in a drink and rules match Three. at Beach Blast. Sunday, July 14th. The match is still on in honor of Rochito Grande, who is at, who is sitting in the hospital bed right now, watching, and I'm hoping Rochito, you're watching this. Because this is concerning you and your head trauma. We want you back. We want you well. We want you at a 100 percent and get your revenge. On El, Gu on El Guapo and Lawless. I want to see that happen. Nice kicks there by Carano. Crucifix pinned by Alaska, Nebraska. And not even a two count. Not even a two count. Tag team match to decide one diva, one woman to enter that wet and wild match. The only diva in this matchup who hasn't gotten her first match was was Lady Death, but this is considered her first and last match. So amongst these. Four divas, Alaska, Nebraska, Gina Carano, and Daphne cannot afford to lose a second time around. Because technically, the diva who loses in this match who gets pinned or taps out, she remains at the bottom of the barrel. Literally, the bottom of the barrel in the women's contingency. I'm not, I'm, I'm not joking around. This is serious. The championship committee wants the best of the best for Beach Blast. And I couldn't agree more, because I am a member of the committee. Oh, beautiful move there by Carano. But Lady Death saves the day. And Carano again. I mean, Alaska, Nebraska. Once again, glowing red from that spirit meter. She is totally on fire. Wait a second. 
Rear naked choke! Rear naked choke! Will she give in? Will she give in? Oh, wait a minute, Lesbian Nebraska with that cutter! Double pin! Double pin! And it only gets one, one count! Only one count! The crowd is on their feet! Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea who is going to win this colossal of a, of, a, of a Divas match. Good grief. And now a Gina Con Conviction Carano. What does she have up her sleeve? Rear naked show! Rear naked show on Daphne! But she escapes! She does not want to lose this match! It's that important! Cross arm breaker! Cross arm breaker! Will she tap out? Will she tap out? Oh no! The referee is out! The referee was out! We had- we should have had a winner! Daphne lost the match, she tapped up, and the referee was down! The referee was down! This is a robbery! Gina Carano had this match won! One, two! Almost a three count, a near fall! I can't believe this! Carano had this match won! Carano now, with those knee strikes to the skull of Daphne! Absolutely unfreaking believable! And there's that chick kick! Daphne is presumed busted wide open! Oh, nice leapfrog. Crucifix spin. Oh, no. I think Gina got too excited on that exchange right there. STF! Ah! Oh, it was gonna... Oh, the, the, the move was gonna be broken up either way. Cross arm breaker! Counter after counter. Interruption after interruption. And at this point in time, I have no idea who's gonna win, but it should have been Gina Carano. Daphne had tapped out. Everyone saw it. Everyone is sitting at home watching this on their desktop, laptop, iPads, you name it. Your cell phones, whatever it is you guys have to watch, to have internet or access to YouTube. You've already seen this, you're watching this right now, and you all saw that Daphne had tapped out. She gave up, you saw the meter, cross arm breaker, Daphne couldn't take it anymore, but Sky Stanley, our senior official referee, tapped out. I mean, not tapped out, but passed out, I should say. Who will win this as we, we must have a winner. We must have a winner. Who will gain the fourth spot in the Wet and Wild contest? I got to know. I got to know. move and again more damage done to the face of Daphne everyone in the FPW arena absolutely intense One, that won't do anything. Two. almost a three